Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. Oh, okay, I seem to have a bit of blurred vision today. Um, okay, I'm sure that will adjust. Um, Good Friday. Let's do a reading. These psychic tarot have been shouting out to me all day long, like they have some kind of message in them, so I've given in. Um, okay, let's do a reading and see what the cards want to say, and I've just painted my nails. <laughs> okay, it's all good. They may survive the shuffling. Okay, we've got the triumph card here. There's just one horse. It's the black horse. Um, it's feminine energy. We've got victory and success. They both come in really nice together. Um, I'll show you them in a minute. I'm not sure how I'm laying these out. We've got intuition. You will triumph and find your victory and your success by following your intuition. Okay. Which is of the feminine. That's where you'll find your balance, material and spiritual prosperity. Okay. Well, this is kind of like old news, isn't it? So, what is, um, I don't know, trying to be told? So we have the Triumph card. It's a masculine on a feminine's horse. That's a chariot. But there's just the one horse. And unlike the others, well, some of the others, this one has reins, so um, this rider here is in control, where the others are, they don't have reins, it's like um, the universe is having to push you, so this is of own accord. Okay, so this isn't somebody who's now being pushed by divine, this is somebody who is, I'm going to say balanced in their feminine energy. Um, And they are moving forward on their own accord. They're not being pushed. It's their, their choice. The six of wands is um, it's about recognition and reward. I normally look at it as somebody returning from the past who has transformed. Okay. So there's the victory and success. There's somebody blowing their own trumpet. Okay. Then we have the intuition which is the High Priestess. Um, following your feminine guidance. It's like um, charging off into the unknown. And then in, in comes the balance with the Six of Pentacles. It's about weighing out those scales, receiving your material and spiritual prosperity. Okay, let's have a look what's going to go in the middle. Wisdom, the Hierophant. Okay, that's the counterpart to the High Priestess. Wisdom. Um... I wanted to say the Akashic Records with the book that he's holding. Um, and that's about, I want to say, going in to your intuition and understanding your purpose. It was all planned. It was all, and it's like you've had access to this, to maybe the Akashic Records. Mm, very interesting. Gonna look at what the bottom of the deck is. <clears throat> Time to make well it's a two of pentacles, so normally it's balancing out. Not in this card, it's movement choices and decisions. 
So it's probably the stablest card I ever see the Two of Pentacles in. But it's like you can have it all. Material and spiritual prosperity. Just gonna have a look at this picture. You have the coins. You have two wedding rings. You have like a new growth. And then there's just, it's like there's just this blue skies, fluffy fluffy clouds. Um, new beginnings. I'm going to clarify. I was going to go outside. I did get outside. And then all of a sudden it got a little bit loud out there. I thought that everybody had kind of calmed down from their uh, bank holiday kind of rituals they do, which is flat packs, DIY, drills. Um, and it all went quiet and I thought, oh, it's lovely. I'm just going to get out into the sun. And then just as I did, it's like all the, so it's going to go out the back. Um, everybody woke up again. That's all good. I am going to just pull three cards at the bottom here. My deck's upside down. This is about things happening very quickly now. The Eight of Wands. Communication, travel, relocation. It looks like the options are for all of it anyway, so it's a complete life change. It's now time to balance out the material and the sp spiritual wealth um, that you are wise about now. With the wisdom card there in the middle. King of Pentacles, so very dominant masculine energy here, but riding in on the feminine's horse. This is about really your security, your stability, what you can provide, your worthiness. The Empress. It's the Divine Feminine's energy. It looks to me as if there's a lot of consideration here regarding this relationship. Bottom of the deck, destiny. Wheel's about to turn, it's the Wheel of Fortune. Instead of picking up on this Akashic Records here, just knowing that this was kind of all, all planned, um, and it looks like there's movement here now for the King of Pentacles, and I'm going to say that it's him going towards the Empress, but there looks like there's a, uh, there is definitely movement, there's choices and decisions. I'm feeling it's now for the two of them to discuss. Okay, we'll see what the Oracles want to say. But that most definitely is a husband card. And that most definitely is a, just a good all-rounder. So she um, embodies all of the queens. Which would bring you in here with the Wheel of Fortune because it's it's very similar to the World card where you wrap up a cycle and before you can begin new ones. And it's about embodying all those four elements and they're all here as well. So it's about being balanced in the air, water, um, earth, and wands, as in your physical. So, um, which will be the material and spiritual prosperity when you've balanced out how to operate here on earth and um, with the material realm. And then you obviously have the knowledge with the wisdom here, your intellect, with your intuition, uh, which will come in great with the air. I'm feeling grounded with the earth. And then the cups just overflowing. That would be material and sp spiritual prosperity. Because it's about all your dreams coming true. You're feeling worthy. And with the wedding rings now. Um, definitely points out here. And especially with the ones being um, to do with the spiritual realm. Your passion. Passion. Right. Um, I've got the Lover's Oracle here. I wanted to pull out some cards that I haven't used for a while, or maybe never on this channel. So um, let's have a look what the Lover's Oracle would like to say, what the guidance is. If you never have a broken heart, you'll never truly learn to love. 
So there's been heartache here. And there will be, if somebody's coming in balanced, coming in for their material and spiritual prosperity, knowing the truth now, um, if you've never had a broken heart, you've never truly learned to love. Where there is love, there is life. Okay. That growth. That growth there. Um, I was just picking up there. They're picking up on all the four elements, aren't they? <laughs> In that movement choices and decisions card. Love is perfect even when we are not. Oh, that's amazing. Yes, unconditional. Right, let me show you these cards that come up. So... If you never have a broken heart, you'll never le truly learn to love. Come on now. So good. Not sure what I'm looking at there. Oh, okay. There's two together. I can twine now. And then where there is love, there is life. It's a nice bit of that. Show you the other side, it's the picture a bit bigger. And love is perfect even when we are not. Who wants to be perfect? That's a bit of a responsibility, isn't it? Okay, that was interesting to use those. Now I've got the Romance Angel. I've actually got a lot of love base cards. Oh, it was written in the stars. Yeah. All predestined. I'm going to put some of these boxes away. <laughs> Like somebody's found their empress after heartbreak or going through heartbreak to realize what it is that you know actually they love understanding love um, and it looks like there's movement towards this empress now I think it's going to be known it's time to reap in the rewards from the material um, and then you'll feel so spiritually satisfied. Honeymoon. Said about the marriage there. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So this could just be about coming together. Discussing in that honeymoon phase, I want to say. It could be marriage. It could be straight away marriage and off on a honeymoon. Oh, it says deception. Okay. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Well, there is somebody coming back. After heartache, after a broken heart, they're stronger and wiser and understanding that where there is love, there is life. This is just somebody who's just been, hasn't seen through the illusion. But it looks like the mask is off now with the deception card here. I've got two. There's a soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I want to read, but I'm not sure if I want to read all of them. Um, definitely want to read that deception card. And I want to read the soulmate card, especially as we've got an empress down here. And then we've got a king of pentacles who's feeling very secure and stable. Um, and there's movement, there's, there's communication, something's going to be happening rather quickly. So, now first honeymoon was on the mind. Okay, well, let's have a look at the honeymoon card. <coughs>
This card indicates the need for a get away to nurture romantic love. The specific application of this message depends upon the person who is inquiring. For some this card has a literal meaning, you are going away with your new spouse following your wedding. For those already in long term partnership, this card speaks to reigniting the spark by taking a romantic holiday. It can also relate to the honeymoon period of a new relationship. And for still others, this card indicates that you will meet someone special while on a vacation. Okay. Then we have deception. So it's like wanting it, but then something stopping. So let's have a look at this um, this mask. This card is a loving nudge for you to be aware of deception within a relationship. This could involve something mild, such as run of the mill politeness, where your partner is afraid of offending you by sharing true feelings. Perhaps you're the one wearing the mask, but perhaps. Mm. Hot again. <laughs> Perhaps you're the one wearing the mask because you aren't disclosing something to your partner. Deep down, you know what this card pertains to. Yeah. Okay. The romance angels are trying to protect your heart. Please say this invocation either silently or aloud. Romance angels, I ask that you give me very clear guidance that I can easily notice and understand to reveal the truth about this situation to my conscious awareness. Then notice and trust the signs that follow. This card is also a reminder to you about the importance of being genuine with your partner. Although discussing your true feelings may be uncomfortable, it will improve your relationship on many levels. Okay, so we're getting somewhere here. We're opening up. We're opening up, okay. And then we have soulmate. Well, with your soulmate, it's probably the only person that you can completely open up to. Um, hence why I feel that there's this pull. It's time for you now to, to have the prosperity. Um, but it looks like it takes opening up. It says, yes, this is your soulmate. You chose this card because you wonder if a certain person is your soulmate. And the answer is yes. As we all do, you have many soulmates, beings with whom you share a mystical soul connection and life path. Soulmates incarnate with the plan of coming together for mutual spiritual and personal growth. As you suspected, the person you're inquiring about is one of yours. That sense of familiarity and comfort you felt when you first met also indicates your soulmate bond. This card sometimes comes to those who ask, when will I meet my soulmate? Or will I ever meet my soulmate? As validation that this will occur. Many times, this is a person whom you already know. Although romantic sparks didn't fly at first, you'll have another opportunity to explore passion together. Okay, then we've got trust. In response to your question, the Romance Angels ask you to trust that everything is exactly as it needs to be. Do not add fear to the situation, which will only create drama and negativity. Instead, the Angels ask you to release your worries to them. Your present situation is here to bring you blessings and personal growth, leading to the beautiful romantic love you so deeply desire and deserve. As you follow your pathway you're currently on, trust that it's leading you in the right direction. Your faith, uplift, up, your faith uplifts your energy, which in turn attracts positive experiences and people, including your romantic partner. This truly is a situation where with faith, all things are possible. Now, I'm not sure, I'm just picking up on what I was, songs I was picking up on earlier. It's really bizarre because Bob Marley, don't worry about a thing because every little thing's going to be all right. But then it came out in like my children's um, words and it was like, 
because every little thing is gonna be all right. So it just might be giggling off at why am I singing, you know, um, don't worry. And then what shall we do with a drunken sailor coming to my mind? And I thought, is somebody drowning? I don't know. Somebody drinking? They're like um, numbing, numbing themselves. Anyway, you'll know if it resonates, but they're the two songs that were coming through. This was hours ago. Um, and it's like, oh, I, I wasn't going to come on for a read. And it's like, okay. And then, like I said, it's just been niggling and niggling. In the end, you know, it's just, okay, I give up. Let's pick up the cards. Let's see what's going down. So, what shall we do with the drunken sailor? Early in the morning. Journey of love. I can't get the song out of my head now. Let's see what the journey of love wants to say on this Good Friday. Oh my God, it rhymes, I swear. I'm going to be a poet. One day I'm going to be a poet. Oh, that might tap into the Akashic Records, actually, because I was going to speak about it. I wonder when it was going to come up. But, by chance, I shared a video the other day, and then it kind of went on to the next video, and it was very interesting what it went on to. It went on to this gentleman... He's in his 80s and he's managed to basically be able to, to tap in, I want to say, to his purpose. It might be better just to share it. I only watched the first part until the interviewer come, come and interrupted. So it's probably only on for about 10 minutes. But let me just try and explain this in the best way. So he could go into a, into a state and meet up, so he could say, well, I feel like I want to be an artist, okay, a painter, but has no kind of ability or whatever, but he has this urge that, you know, that's part of his calling, so we go in and speak, I believe he's speaking to himself, and he says, you know, what's the guidance, and you'll be told, really, what the guidance is, and it's kind of like you exchange this gift, so where it ended on the video, he was actually learning how to play piano, he <laughs> said, and that, I thought, was the funniest part, because he's sitting down at the piano playing a tune, and he's like, it looks like I know what I'm doing, but his fingers just knew what to do. And it's like the possibilities with the Akashic Records. So for me, yes, I mean, there's loads of vocations <laughs> lined up already on goal boards, let alone anything I can actually think of in addition. So, um, very interesting. I was actually thinking I'm going to tap in and see what... <sighs> what I'm told I, sh uh, you know, I'm here to do, and, like, as in a different way to, <laughs> I don't know, what is achievable, anyway, <laughs> I'll put the video on, it's just because of that tapping in, um, it's just, like I said, I didn't watch all of it, I only watched um, the first bit, but it was enough to get me thinking, of the possibilities, so I've obviously said that for a reason. Falling, card number 14. The only song that always comes up with that song, uh, with this card is Celine Dion, Falling Into You. Anyway, it says, don't worry. See, I said about a thing. <laughs> don't worry you may fear you are falling but it's just your soul diving deeper into the ocean of bliss are you sensing parts of your life flying away from you out of your control as the momentum of your divine surrender takes over and becomes more powerful than the old adhesive between you and what no longer serves laugh, cry, celebrate and ponder 
Whether it makes sense or not, you are like a perfectly ripe fruit falling from the universal tree, succulent and ready to be enjoyed for all that you are. If you wait any longer, this moment will be lost and you'll end up on the ground having to decay and go to seed in order to start the whole process again. This is not so bad, but what a shame if your sweet nectar was not to be savoured by a hungry world. You deserve to be declared the most the most delicious, juicy fruit that ever was. So full, you'll end up exactly where you are meant to be. So this oracle contains a message for you. You are being called closer into divine union and into the fulfilment of your destiny now. I think you know that. There's just this fear still. It's to do with this deception, I feel, about... I don't actually think that's deception. I think that's about being vulnerable enough to actually express your feelings. Um, it's okay going over in the minds, isn't it? A script, but actually doing that, your truth. I mean, I've been in a couple of situations where I've really not wanted to speak my truth, but there's something that you just have to. It, it's very liberating um, to face the fear and do it anyway. What's the worst that can happen? So, um, this oracle contains a message for you. You are being called closer into divine union and into the fulfilment of your destiny now. It is safe for you to trust what is happening. Go with it. It might seem like you are being asked to take a leap of faith. It's the right timing for that. It's your time to give yourself in love without holding back anything of yourself. The poem, Is it wrong to love? To feel what I hold inside? The answer must wait. So there's still this hesitancy that the answer must wait. It's like, are you going to allow all of it out, what you feel inside? Um, that's quite hard translating that into words because of emotions. <laughs> so to find words to express, try and express how you're actually feeling is, it's a tricky one. Words to describe emotions. Okay. I'm going to use these Lovers Oracle. I've got two decks of Lovers Oracle. These ones are heart shaped. It says heart shaped fortune telling cards. Okay, I'm just trying to put them all back. See what the messages are. Freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Let's get, we'll get another one. Just for the sake of me, have two. <laughs> Time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. I'm not sure what that one's about. Here we are. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. I felt that was resentment towards yourself. Just with the deception with the mask being on. Um, time. You're trying too hard. Give it time. I want to say baby steps. Okay, we need some other oracle cards. I know that. And I feel like I want to use the... Where are you? The unicorns. just saw believe in yourself it's 
time, you're trying too hard. I want to say you're trying too hard to please others. Give it time. Relax. Everything's okay. Come on, don't worry about a thing. I'll sing it my way. Because every little thing is going to be all right. Seriously, this song just will not... Somebody needs the reassurance. Relax, everything's okay, don't worry, it's going to be fine. Okay, let's, um, let's read the message. No matter what your situation looks like right now, this card asks you to relax and let go of worries. Everything will be okay. Have you ever seen a movie in which everyone seems to be in danger or in trouble of some sort? As you watch the movie, you wonder how will they get ever get out of this. Yet at the end of the film, everything works out fine and everyone's happy. In the same way, I wanted to say including the drunken sailor. Sorry. Okay. In the same way, your movie will have a happy ending too. So don't stress or worry. Instead, enjoy watching how your life story unfolds in an amazing way. Life works itself out in ways that we could never have thought of. Your current situation will be over soon and you'll be fine. You'll learn life lessons that will help you in the future. So use this current time to make yourself stronger. Breathe deeply. Try your best to stay positive and happy and remember to relax because everything's going to be okay. Okay, let's get another one from there. Um, what else can we say apart from just relax and think it's going to be okay? Um, I'm not sure what other guidance to... Exercise. Yeah, get out. Get your blood pumping. Get your blood pumping. Get your heartbeat. Beating a bit quicker. Okay. Um, run, walk, swim or otherwise move your body. This will give you more energy and happiness. Get jiggy with it. Na 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 na. Uh, stop at the songs please. Get jiggy with it. Exercise. Have a little dance. Exercise helps you breathe air deeply, which makes your body feel alive and awake. Breathing air so deeply can also spark new ideas and answers to your questions. This card asks you to exercise more often, so take your life to a higher level. Now, I said about the air in here, deny the clouds, the, and I felt, I, I don't know if I said it, but I felt like this fresh air. Sometimes you may feel, sometimes you may not feel, like exercising because you're bored, tired or busy. Yet even just a little activity can make you feel much better than you did before. It's worth the time and trouble to exercise because afterward you'll have more energy to play or get your chores and other work done. Exercise helps you sleep better, which improves your outlook and moods. Plus, it's the best way to deal with stress. After you're done exercising, you'll forget about any troubles or you'll have answers to help you deal with them. Exercise is more fun with a, with a friend or family member. So sorry, getting jiggy with it, just sorry. Um, exercise is more fun with a friend or a family member, or you can take your dog or a friends on a long walk or run, do something physical every day, and you'll thank yourself for it. It was like, just get some sex into your system. I don't know. Something's wrong with me today. <laughs> so don't worry. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to do an enchanted map. Um... Poor Mother Mary, she's being totally, you know, um, called upon. But, I'm looking at the colour cards. 
but that card wants to come out. Oh no, don't do this with all the boxes. Okay, well, I need that book. We can say goodbye to you for the minute. I just moved things to another area. Colour card. And then I want a Mother Mary card. Okay, just put that box back in. Oh no, we've got them. Okay. Then I'm pre organised. I have everything that I need. Cool. Okay. Let's do this um, enchanted mat. It says stuck in the mud. Okay, 24. Which brings us to that 6, which is harmony and love and... Okay. Um, 24. You're being invited to stop and savour the wonder of your life. So being stuck is sometimes the only way to trick yourself into slowing down and looking around you. In fact, this is a sign that you need to shift your focus away from what you're doing and place your attention elsewhere. Struggling will only get you to even muddier puddles. or oh, places, not puddles. <laughs> muddier places. Now is not the time to move forward, but to observe. Clarity about your circumstances will come a little later. Stop and find the joy in what you've been overlooking. Soon you'll be out of the mud, but for now be still and know that spirit has a plan for you. Okay. It's like you need the clarity. Um, once you have that, you'll be out of the mud. There is movement here. Um, <laughs> sorry. Or communication let's get a color card indigo improve your vision <laughs> I came on and said that my uh, my eyesight was all of a sudden very blurry okay so what am I picking up on indigo improve your vision card number 40 indigo helps with any illnesses affecting your head eyes ears and nose it also treats mental and emotional disorders such as ADD, anxiety and depression. Use indigo for problems with insomnia and to release stress and tension. When visualised, indigo provides a sense of clarity and purpose. Okay. So visualise indigo rays to improve your vision and to make your dreams a reality. So focus on your eyes. <laughs> I will if you want, but this is kind of spot on. Are they tired and heavy or light and relaxed? No, very tired and heavy. Imagine indigo light penetrating your eyes, finding any dark spots in your field of vision and dissipating them. Place your palms on your eyes and gently hold them there for a few minutes, allowing your eyes to relax completely. I'm going to do this after if you don't mind. <laughs> okay, so visualise something in the future that you would like to create. Then freeze, then freeze it as if it were a beautiful painting. I spoke about paintings, didn't I? Okay. Now place it in an indigo bubble and allow it to float off into the middle of the world, shining its energy from there. Say, so Divine Intelligence, please allow what I have seen in my vision to manifest in the perfect time and in the perfect way. Well, okay, so that does come in really great with that gentleman that was visualising. Um, different vocations. I think he's actually a healer. He may be a healer now. Um, and he... It's just another part of him, if that makes any sense. Okay, watch the video. No, I must remember to attach it. Indigo. Hmm. Right, let's get another Mary card. 
it's like visualize the possibilities. I mean, speaking about Alice in Wonderland, you know, imagining and dreaming and But to actually be able to go in for guidance or to be given your talent with no effort on your part, apart, apart from being willing, receptive, open-minded, I mean, that's a... Uh, Our Lady of Radiant Grace. Okay. Card number 33. It's that Christ's consciousness number. Perfect time of year. Um... I'll hold it up in a minute. I'm going to just do some reading first. Um, Our Lady of Radiant Grace. The descent of my grace changes everything. Your body, your mind and your soul are brought to life in new ways and freedom opens up to you. So we have that freedom here. Can you release your familiarity with and attachment to old ways of being? Can you release your expectation of enslavement and control? You are my child. When you place your trust in me, I allow no one to harm you, no thing to confine your spirit. You are free to live wildly and expansively. There shall be no prison. I want to say that again. There shall be no prison for your soul, beloved of mine. Your soul shall be in love with the earth and fly free. It sounded like I said prism. That's why I said I want to say it again. It was like, um, there shall be no prison. Prism, it says, for your soul, beloved of mine. Your soul shall be love with the earth and fly free. Like an animal that has been wounded and must learn to release aggression and distrust, in order to know love and tenderness, we too must learn how to trust again and again. The nature of modern culture is that it tries to kill the soul and break the spirit. We are pushed and prodded into fitting into stereotypes, humbled into believing we are not enough, just as we are, and manipulated into believing we must buy our way into status in order to have worth. The body is humiliated by comparisons and judgments, and the spirit is divided by beliefs that if you cannot see or touch it physically, then it isn't real. You aren't in the real world if you believe in spiritual matters, and you are delusional and naive if you aim to live from, ra from love rather than scarcity, power games and fear. Something that was going on in my mind earlier about not... I can't even think what it was. So much has going, been going through today. So it was something to do about being in the real world. Um, okay. Oh, what, what was it? What was it? It was like a real... What's wrong with you? That. Saying. When somebody says to you, what's wrong with you? And you're kind of like... I don't actually think there's anything wrong with me. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I'll get back to reading. Um, I'm going to read that bit again. You aren't in the real world if you believe in spiritual matters. And you are delusional and naive if you aim to live from love rather than from scarcity, power games and fear. This is part of the test of being human. We were born to rise above these humiliations and dis disparagements, disparagements, to become stronger than them, wiser than them, 
In doing so, we help liberate others as well, showing the way, a more authentic and healing way to live. We were born not to fear our bodies and deny our spirits, but to love the earth and fly with the wings of the Holy Mother's grace. So even with powerful and marvellous wings upon our back and the perfect current in the air through which to soar into freedom and exhilaration, if we do not trust enough to leap, all that comes to nothing. All that comes to nothing. It's like the trust. Hmm. And it said um, in the journey of love, didn't it? Falling. Your time's perfect now, you're right. To live into our des divine destiny, which is so much nobler, more compassionate, kind, emotionally rich, creative and rebellious than modern culture would have us believe, we need to trust. We need to trust that we are enough and that we are worthy of receiving. This is not some misplaced sense of entitlement or belief that the world owes us or that the suffering of others only matter, if at all, when we have all our own needs met. The spiritual grace of the Holy Mother does not revolve around immature tantrums or thwarted egos. The ability to receive what this oracle speaks of requires the genuine, heart-centred realisation that the divine lives and breathes as us and wants to come into full expression through all that we are, unique talents and quirky visions included. Cool. <laughs> Um, I think there's a reason for quirkiness. So, For this trust to manifest and for us to be freed from self-imposed prisons, I keep wanting to say prisons, prisons that would lock us into fearful doubt and confusion, we need the radiant grace of Our Lady. That radiant grace is sunlight cutting through cloud and illuminating the earth in golden light. That grace is a joyful gasp that erupts from your lips when you witness a spontaneously, a spontaneous beautiful moment in the natural world. That is the grace that lifts us. We see that the door and the cage we once believed ourselves to be locked within is actually not locked at all. The grace is the shapaz we need to kick the door. Sorry guys, I've got people coming in. so funny my daughter's like looking through again can I come in it's like she's kind of looking as if to say well does that mean I can come in well you can but I don't think you want to be on camera so okay let's get this wrapped up because she comes with friends so um the grace is the Chappaz, um we need to kick the door open and dare to step inside it is the divine mother standing on the other side of the unlocked cage door that we have just kicked open beckoning us to join her. She stands there in the lush field of wild flowers, hair blowing in the wind, calling to us. She says, come here, beloved of mine, step into this wild world with me. Let's have so much, we have so much to share together. And with the rest of the world, let go, rattle some cages, freedom awaits all of my children. So this oracle comes to you at a time when, whether you are conscious of it or not, a greater spiritual embodiment is upon you. This will take great courage to accept. You will not necessarily feel in control or understand some of the changes in relationship and life circumstances that happen as a result of this greater divine presence manifesting within your being. These changes are manifesting through the mother's, holy, the mother's grace to allow for you to be free. Remember that freedom does not mean being alone. Freedom comes with a sense of living your destiny without obstruction. That will include having deep and connected relationships that feed and nourish the soul. Allow the mother to flow into your heart and be with you as you trust in what is unfolding now through her radiant grace. Wow. Full, I want to say full and complete trust on what is unfolding now. Okay. This situation is calling for you to have faith. But relax because everything's going to be okay. All right. Okay. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Have a fantastic um, day. And um, 
I'll catch up with you soon. But until then, remember, don't worry, because everything's going to be all right. Okay. Take care. Much love. Bye for now.